It's taken 30 years. Plans have been made and fallen through. But today, the people of Bracknell finally got their much-awaited new shopping centre. Work began to demolish the concrete 1960s town centre four years ago. But it's been a long time coming after years of delays, changes and setbacks. Tonight, we'll assess what this means for the Berkshire town. First, let's join Ben Moore. He's live in Bracknell tonight. And Ben, wow, it's a big day for the town, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, Sally. Take a look at this. What do you think? This is the new Bracknell. Gone are those 60s tower blocks. Gone is that faded, brutalist concrete that for so many decades the town was synonymous with. Hundreds of thousands of square foot of the town centre have been completely demolished and then completely rebuilt. 70 shops, restaurants and a new cinema. The change is certainly drastic. We've waited about 30 years for the new town and it looks pretty impressive. I keep getting lost. <laughs> Don't know where I am. Getting confused about where we are. When you walked out of the car park, it just hit you. I've literally just gone to Bracknell, no, America, and I came back and I literally don't even recognise it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, it's just no different from any other t town centre that, that's new. So you feel it's lost a bit of character? The council says that the lexicon has created 3,500 jobs, but make no mistake, spending £240 million on a new town centre is an extremely bold move. To assess the impact of that, we can join our business correspondent, Alistair Fee, who's at the other end of the town. Well, thanks, Ben. The town has attracted many big high street names, absolutely essential to success. So we've got Topshop, Burton, River Island, Pandora, Phoenix just in front of me, to name but a few. This has been long awaited, but I can tell you the official opening of the lexicon today didn't disappoint. Three, two, one. Officially opened by the next generation of shoppers, many of whom weren't born when these retail ambitions began. Yes, I'm well impressed. I think it's very good lots of people anyway. <laughs> I think it definitely compares to places like Reading. This was a day of well choreographed celebration. The waiting finally over. When a town ceases to satisfy the needs of the people who want to shop there, then they vote with their feet. And that's what had happened with the old Bracknell. But my contention always was that if we give them what they, they express that they want close to home, they won't take asking twice. There have been many challenges, not least the economic climate throughout this redevelopment, but perhaps the biggest pressure is a cultural shift to get people to come back here and spend both by day and night. Last time we had a Burger King, and that's no Burger King this time, so... Not too happy about that. There are not so many posh shops, as I call it, and I think the Oracle's a bit snobby compared to... This is a bit more... a bit on a par with, like, High Wycombe, sort of. It's the same sort of style. But... And you like that? Yes. Bracknell's really needed something like this to give it a heart back. But I've lived in Bracknell for years, so it's a real treat. The new town centre boasts 70 new shops and restaurants. Thousands came, many drawn in by the gimmicks and giveaways. So just tell me what you're queuing up here for today. A free tote bag. A free bag? Yeah, that's it. Just a free bag. We like a bargain. External pressures such as the rising price of goods and the growth of online shopping have all added to the pressure to get this centre right. Margins are under pressure with Brexit. You know, uh, cost prices are often as much as 15% up following the depreciation. However, uh, a destination like the Lexicon is a wonderful opportunity because we can offer both the experience element, they can come out to, to eat with us, come out to drink with us, as well as come out to shop with us. Whether or not the crowds were spending, the Lexicon today created the buzz long absent in this Berkshire town. Thank you. Thanks, Have a good day. I've got my bag and it's worth a 10 minute wait. <laughs> it's brilliant. Maybe. But the hard work doesn't end here. Bracknell must build on today's hype and make sure the crowds here today make this their retail destination of tomorrow.
Well, as I touched on there, the pressure is now getting people to come here. No problems, as you can see here today, but there's a lot of competition around the region. So this is about changing the way people in Bracknell shop. Up until now, the town centre here has been quiet. There's been certainly no nighttime economy like we've seen in other towns and cities across the south. But retail has some other challenges too. The cost of goods, of course, has been going up in the shops. Wages, of course, hasn't been keeping up with that cost of living. So the climate around here is tough, but the hope is that these shops, the restaurants, the cinema, that's all going to be enough to draw people in. That's certainly not what we've seen in other shopping centres up and down the south of England. Bracknell this evening is completely unrecognisable. Let's go back now to our reporter, Ben Moore, who's been taking a look at the journey it's taken to get here. Ben. Yes, thanks very much, Alistair. This is actually the third incarnation of Bracknell. It started as a small market town in Windsor Forest, of all places. Then the new town came in the 60s. It rapidly expanded. And now this. Let's take a look at the history of one of the best-known towns in the Thames Valley. For decades, it's been one of the most maligned towns in the country. But Bracknell is barely recognisable now. After five years and £240 million, the concrete 1960s town centre is completely gone. Does it upset you when you see it ridiculed as a sort of featureless place? I don't let it worry me. I just think the people that say that are just ignorant. 93-year-old former architect Cyril Minch Minchel designed and helped build the town in the 1950s. Under the circumstances, we did the best we could. We kept the people away from the cars. So you've enjoyed living here in Bracknell? Yes, if it's good enough to build, it's good enough to live in. Minch was asked to turn a small town of 5,000 people into a home for 65,000. Planners followed as best they could what was there already. The high street, for instance, has never moved, but there were challenges. So we had this model made and we took it up to Leicester University and put it in the wind tunnels. And there was one corner, that particular area would be uncomfortable. And did the windy corners get built or did you manage to smooth out the whole wind pattern? We planted trees. <laughs> Our town was going to be a good place to work in and a grand place to live in, with plenty of open spaces. And of course, there'd have to be an attractive town centre too, with plenty of room for folks to meet. After the war, there was a shortage of housing and the birth rate soared. Families needed homes and Bracknell was picked as one of seven new towns. But not everyone here was enthusiastic. It's the same with all new towns. People didn't want it. Stevenage had a referendum, 60% of the local residents were against it. It still went ahead. Bracknell was exactly the same. Nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted their town destroyed. The Bracknell we know and love took 25 years to complete and lasted half a century. And the ideals this town was built on have endured. Now I went preparing to criticise it. You know, I liked it. I like what they're trying to do. Now I want to introduce you to one real survivor of Bracknell. This is the Bull Pub, as you can see by the name on the side. But if you look just past this rather uh, new exterior, you'll see the old building there. This building dates back to the 15th century. It's been here through hundreds of years of Bracknell's turmoil. It survived uh, the new town being built and it survived the Lexicon being built. It's still standing after all this time. Let's talk now to Jean-Marc, who, uh, who is the owner of the pub here. The general manager. Uh, yeah, the general manager. Um, how do you feel to, to finally see this open? Because it was closed completely for four years, wasn't it? It was closed for four years, yeah, and, uh, and it just opened. I think it's, uh, it's fantastic. It's just like, uh, it's, it goes so well with the young philosophy of pub, which is just like kind of the, the all about food and drinks, the all the traditional on the, on the new, on, uh, on the bull is, uh, is all of that with the, the extension, which is so modern, 
but the old pub which has got all the tradition and everything inside. It is a very old pub, as we say, 15th century. I mean, it was around in the 1400s. But how have you adapted it to, to fit in with a brand new town centre? It, it feels like, uh, feel like we, uh, with the art of the lexicon, it's just like uh, we're just right in the middle and everybody looking at us. It's just like, uh, it's, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, the, everything has been respected. The, the old building just like uh, blends so beautifully with the, with the new building. It's just, it's just great. And it, it's sure to remain, isn't it? What, what of the future uh, of the lexicon? You know, I bet, you know, when they were opening this town centre in the 60s, they thought it was going to last for a while. We're opening it, it today. Do you, do, you, do you think it's got a real future? I, th I think that the, the approach that uh, they've done with the lexicon is, is fantastic, just like the, the shop, uh, uh, all, uh, all the retail um, outlet on the shops are uh, pulled all the strings to get some uh, absolutely amazing um, uh, fascia on, uh, on everything. So I think that the future of the lexicon is brilliant because Bracknell is still going to grow and develop on, uh, on everything. Thank you very much. Well, Thank Bracknell you. tonight is very much uh, a different town than it has been for decades. But the question is now, what of Bracknell's future? Back to you, Sally. Ben, thank you very much. Look at that. A whole new Bracknell. Let's hope it does yeah. good business for years to come.